Today we find ourselves in Davidson, Saskatchewan, and we're meeting up with the Stone family, the winners of the Canada's Farm Show contest, where we ask the question, what do farmers do in the winter? So Rob Stone, his wife Donna, and his two kids, Joe and Ben, are gonna show me today all the work that Canadian farmers have to do in the winter and a little bit of fun. And in recognition, we are delivering them the prize package of four admission tickets to Canada's Farm Show in June and four tickets to the Professional Bull Riders Show. So we hope you guys enjoy the show in June and you come and visit me when it's a little warmer outside. Yeah? <laughs> that all sounds right. great. Thank you very much. All right, let's go see all the fun things you guys do on the farm in the winter and then we'll get mom and dad to talk a bit about the work. Sound good? All right. All right, let's do it. Right on. Let's go. So here we are in Rob Stone's office and we're gonna talk about some of the things that farmers do in the winter. Rob, I loved the post that you sent us. Uh, you, you mentioned a lot of things that farmers do in the winter and a good mix of work and fun. Yeah. So let's talk about some of the work that farmers do in the winter. I know you're a big advocate for policy on behalf of farmers and you sit on a lot of boards, one being the SAS Wheat Development Commission. Tell us a bit about your office work and your interest in agricultural policy. Sure, well it's what I spend a good amount of time out here doing, especially on the cold dark days. It's kind of nice to go through the paperwork and do some farm business planning and get everything laid out in that respect, but also too, my interests have started to develop more into some of this board and policy work, both from an interested farmer over the last couple of years and now being elected onto Sasquatch in the fall or I guess in December. So uh, getting my head more wrapped around uh, the board meetings and the research proposals and everything else that comes in, uh, along with uh, participation in the ongoing policy work that is uh, seems to be, um, there's always more demands on people's time and on their brains to uh, navigate through these next years of policy as I guess uh, some of the expectations from the regulators and from the bureaucracy seems to continue to increase. So it's it's really interesting work, but it's it's a lot of reading, a lot of interaction, and with the power of Zoom the last few years, a lot of our meetings have been online, and I'm looking forward to uh, having a lot more personal touch with these meetings. It means a bit more travel, but I think we're going to get a lot more value out of our interactions as well. So. You know, farmers spend an enormous amount of time in a tractor cab by themselves doing a lot of thinking about policy work and some of the issues that you mentioned. And then in the winter months, uh, we get an opportunity to go meet and network and share some of those grand ideas that we've had in the, in the tractor. What are some of the issues uh, from the farm gate that you hope to bring forward to Sasquatch Development Commission and amongst some of the other boards that you sit on? Yeah, I think that some of the issues that, that are ongoing is the, the social license issues of farming and the environmental issues that um, we're kind of trying to define right now for ourselves uh, what that looks like, how we market to people and how we already confirm a lot of the great things that we're doing on the farm. So that's going to, uh, it's, it's, it's great to be involved in organizations that have research capacity and policy capacity to put together to prove a lot of the things that we're already doing are environmentally sustainable, you know, when it comes to nutrient use and all of those sorts of things. Um, going forward, I think it's going to be a lot more verification required using data, using all of these different services that we've got uh, available to us. So integrating that and making it more um, user friendly, more, uh, I guess, more accepted within the industry of people that, that these, these are the tools that they can use in order to uh, advance our industry. Well, your kids have some really fun and exciting things to show us outside and they believe that that's also what farmers do in the winter time, so I think we should probably go check it out. Absolutely. Let's do it. So Joe, if you need snow to do all the fun things in the winter, but shoveling snow is your chore, do you hope for snow or do you not want it to snow so you don't have to do chores? 
Uh, I don't, I don't mind it. Ben loves shoveling it. I don't mind shoveling. That's your job too? I always hope for snow because that means sledding. That means cold weather, which means skating. Yeah. That means uh, skiing. And uh, that means uh, shoveling snow. That means fort building. That means everything. Okay, what about when it comes to the farm and your crops, what does snow mean in the winter time? Um, well, normally uh, in the winter time, if we get a big dump, yeah. then you're kind of hooped for getting out of your yard for <laughs> about two hours after yeah. the tractor starts. Yeah. Do we get more moisture out of the snow? What about the there? crops? Um, Do the crops like the snow? Yes. Mm hmm Because why? Um, once the snow melts, um, if you have a big drift, then it might not disappear until sometime in like, early June, but <laughs> still then crops are getting moisture still as it slowly melts away, so that's definitely good for the crop. Because there's two ways that our crops can get moisture, right? Rain and leftover snow. You nailed it. What's the best part about living on a farm in the wintertime? Mm, a lot of space. Lots of space? Yes. yes. And um, there's lots of stuff to do. Oh yeah. yeah. I've got four things. Okay. Or um, five. Five. One, you have a lot of space. Two, you can basically do whatever you want. Three, yeah, you've got a lot of space to build things on. Four, uh, you've got a big shop to build things in. And five, if, uh, there's always something to do. <laughs> always. Yeah, I like it. Well, let's go do it. Who's got a hockey stick for me? <laughs> nice. Rob, this is so awesome. Honestly, as a kid, I would have loved to have an outdoor rink like this. Do you do this every year? Is this a one-time thing? Oh, we have for a few years. I don't know, it just kind of seemed like something to beat the boredom one day, and then we kind of got a kick out of just having our backyard thing to do. And uh, so, yeah, the kids really like it. And it's, it's, it's fun to do. And we've got, a, the nice thing about being on the farm is you've got the gear, you've got the water trucks, you've got all the stuff to do it in the space, so it's kind of a shame to not do it, so. I would say you also, because you come from the farm, you have the innovation to do it, the energy to do it, and the space to do it. So Rob, you showed me all the fun things that there are to do on the farm. The kids have told me about all the fun things you guys do on the farm, but at some point, there's work to do. Yeah, it's, <laughs> you do have to do a little work every day. Tell me about some of the farm work that keeps you busy in the winter. Well, basically, I mean, this year is a little bit less grain hauling than usual, but we've got to kind of keep up on that. And there's some nobody talked about to the drought today, but we can bring it up. Yep. There was a drought. That yeah. means there's not a lot of grain to haul. Yeah, exactly. But there's still some. So uh, you know, snow removal in a windy kind of snowy year like this is keeping that up, regardless of whether you're hauling or not. If you get behind on that, it seems like it's quite a task. Shoveling the rink off, and then go move some uh, go move some snow in the vineyard and. Yeah, moving grain, but then a lot of, lot of shop work too. We're trying to do a lot more of our own maintenance uh, now that we've got a facility in place to do that. So that keeps us really busy actually uh, getting all that maintenance and stuff done as well. So um, it's, there's as much work here as you want, that's for sure. We are going to experience yet another fun Canadian winter sport. Yep. And somehow you have this right here in your own backyard. So I'm wearing biathlon skis. These are cross country skis, and we're gonna ski together down this trail that you made. Yeah. Very yeah. good. Yeah, Boys. Keeps us, uh, gives us something to get outside and do. Yeah. I'm not much of a skier, but it's better than walking in the snow. That's awesome. Good. Another Canadian sport, and another thing farmers do in the winter. All right. This has been another segment of Farm Show TV. You can watch anytime, anywhere on our website, canadasfarmshow.com. A great big thanks to the Stone Family Farm for inviting us here today and showing us all the great things that farmers do in the winter. Thanks for coming. Let's do it. Hey, I said no racing. This right here is time well spent. 
Why not pour yourself a smooth Saskatchewan made original 16? Warm up to the opportunity to seize the day. <laughs>